Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Thank you all very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate all of your support. It means the world to me. Now in this video, as you can tell, we're gonna be taking a look at the newest Thierry Mugler fragrance or just Mugler for those of you who don't know they did have a quick name change this one of course is a flanker of Angel Men uh, and it's composed by Jacques Couclier it's called Cryptomint so first things first Cryptomint all right so as the name implies there's going to be a little bit of mint in here or maybe a lot of mint we'll talk about that in just a little bit but the prefix crypto means hidden so what does that imply that the mint isn't going to be strong that it's going to be well blended I'm excited to tell you guys what I think of this scent but before I get into the heart of the review, I just want to give a shout out to Jacob. Jacob, thank you very much. He actually hooked me up with a, a small little decant of Cryptamint. So even though I just got this in the mail a couple days ago, I've been wearing it for about a week now. So thank you very much, Jacob. I really do appreciate that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start the review. Let's take a look at the presentation. So here we have the presentation for Amen Cryptamint. It looks very similar to the other Angel Men fragrances. The only difference on this one would be that it says just Mugler as opposed to Thierry Mugler. In the interest of simplicity, they did have a name change. And then at the very bottom, you have the UPC code and the serial number is punched into the box on the bottom right. And then here you have an image of the fragrance, which I would say for the most part is pretty accurately portrayed as um, with the exception of the background, of course, and then nothing going on at the top. As far as the bottle is concerned, here it is. I think it looks really cool. Um, again, really nice color and tint on the bottle. Um, the sprayer, of course, a lot of people have a hard time with it. So you do have to press hard and you have to know right where to press. Um, but once you get the hang of it, it's okay. And that was the presentation of Cryptamint by Mugler. So when I first sprayed this on, it immediately reminded me of another Thierry Mugler fragrance. So you might say to yourself, well, duh, it's going to remind you of Angel Men. Didn't remind me of the original. I think there are a lot of fragrances here, especially the ones that you see on the wall behind me. I am missing a couple, but a lot of them are going to smell like the original. Like I know Pure Leather or Le Parfums de Queer. That smells a lot like the original Angel Men. This one, on the other hand, reminds me of Ultra Zest, right? The orange one. Now, Ultra Zest was recently released as well and that was a fresher take and a more orangey take on Angel Men. Uh, very much different from Pure Shot, now called Pure Energy, which is kind of like a light citrusy, dare I even say aquatic interpretation of the original. This one, it has that citrusy component in there from Ultra Zest, but with an added mint note. It actually, to me, smells nothing like the original. I know with a lot of these, you spray them on and it kind of has the DNA of the original back there. I'm talking about like pure malt, pure Havan, and I get it. This one, on the other hand, doesn't really remind me of the original. This is a flanker of ultra zest. That's what it is. So let's talk about the name, mint. Yes, you are gonna get a lot of mint in here and it was a pleasant surprise. You know, I have a hard time pinpointing what kind of mint it is that I'm exactly smelling in here because there's nothing that makes it smell distinctly like spearmint or peppermint, so I can't really say that. Um, there are times when it kind of reminds me of Vicks Vapor Rub, and I don't mean that in a negative way at all. I think the overall smell in the blend is actually quite good. Um, but I just bought this at full retail, and I'm kind of happy that I picked it up because it is a nice deviation from what we've seen in the Angel Men line. My only criticism, as it were, is that it does smell pretty similar to Ultra Zest. So you're gonna, it's bright, it's fresh, there is a citrusy component, but it doesn't smell orangey like Ultra Zest. It's more of like a generic citrus, maybe something like bergamot, which is the most used note in perfumery. And then it has this added mint note. Now, as far as the prefix crypto is concerned, is it a hidden mint note? Not initially, it's on full blast. The moment you spray it on, you're gonna get a lot of mint, but it does quickly subside. Maybe after the second hour of application, it starts to become a bit hidden. In that case, it starts to smell very similar to Ultra Zest. At one point, I had to do a side-by-side -side to be able to pick up on the minute differences, and they are minute. Um, but I think overall, if you're looking for something that's a bit brighter than Ultra Zest, something not as gourmand, because I do think there was a strong presence of vanilla in Ultra Zest, this one isn't so heavy on the vanilla. It's another reason why I do think this deviates a little bit from the original Angel Men territory. All in all, I think it's a wonderful scent. Um, I, it's not my favorite flanker. You know, to this day, my favorites are like Pure Malt, 
Pure Havan. Um, believe it or not, I even like Pure Leather because it's so close to the original Angel Men. I did a, uh, a video of my top five favorite Terry Mugler fragrances. I'm gonna leave it down below, so make sure to check it out. But this one, I wouldn't say is in my top five. I think it's a great release. And I think they did things really well. And I think for a mint-based scent, and it is a different composition, that's another criticism of mine. And I know this review is probably <laughs> getting a little bit too long, but a lot of people keep saying, you know, go back to the drawing board, start fresh, do a flanker of Mugler Cologne, or do the uh, men's equivalent of Alien, which we've seen be a very popular fragrance on the women's side, so much so that it has spawned off several flankers. But you know what? They are doing things differently. And I think Jacques Houclier is constantly reinventing the wheel. Like something like this doesn't smell like the original, but they keep the same name and they keep the same bottle. So it has that uh, recognizability. So you walk into Macy's and you're like, I know that's a Mugler fragrance because I recognize the bottle, but they do smell different enough to warrant a purchase. Anyways, I think John Vervados is doing the same exact thing. Similar shape on the bottles, but they change things up from time to time just for that optical difference. Anyways, let's go ahead and finish things off with my rating. So first things first, I took a look at the uniqueness and the overall smell, and I don't find this fragrance to be that unique. And I say that because it does remind me a lot of Ultra Zest, but it does stand out with the added mint note. As far as the overall smell is concerned, I think it smells great, it has universal appeal, and my wife really likes this one too. Now this is an Eau de Toilette concentration, so as far as longevity is concerned, you are gonna get about six hours, which falls within the average range. Projection, it's gonna jump up off your skin because of the more volatile and citrusy notes for the first two to two and a half hours that's right around the point where the mint note starts to dissipate and it does sit a little bit closer to the skin but because of the compositional nature this is one that you would want to spray liberally but also apply several times throughout the day versatility on this one i think it has more of a casual feel when we're talking about formal fragrances i would personally prefer to wear something like pure leather pure malt pure havan because they have an added layer of sophistication. Because of the citrus and the lighter notes, this one is more casual in my eye, but also I think it's going to be geared better towards the hotter weather, so I'm talking spring and summer. And then uh, I think anybody of any age can wear this. It does have a youthful appeal, and I personally find this one to be unisex because of the added sweet notes and that it doesn't fully enter gourmand territory. Presentation on this is really good as well. I know a lot of people say go back to the drawing board, but they kept the same name, kind of, the same presentation, similar looking bottle, but they changed the color and that makes it recognizable when you enter the store. I think it's a pretty cool name and it's a nice deviation from the pure line that we've seen for so many years. Overall, if I had to give this fragrance an overall score, it would earn for me a four out of five. I would personally have liked to see it be a little bit more different, a little bit more unique. Uh, and not so similar to one of its predecessors. But overall, I think it's a great scent. I think the folks over at Mugler have done a wonderful job. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. That was my review of Angel Men Cryptamint by Mugler. Have you guys tried it? If you have, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe for future videos, top tens, reviews, giveaways, unboxings, and a lot of other fragrance-related content. So remember, I smell well so you can smell good. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.